Well, well, this is going to be an easy one because I love the show. Uh, Lou is so much fun. And, uh, you know, when, when, when you get something like this, you must think, all right, I'm in. I, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. It was like, do you want me to tell you how it all came about? Yeah, please. That'd be great. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, you know, started as a DJ and hip hop producer a yeah. long time ago. And that was how I kind of got into the game was, uh, at the time I started, there wasn't a lot of great, you know, major label quality hip hop. And, uh, I, I kind of put, I was just getting out of a record deal and I was like, I'm going to, I love the feeling of making music to film and picture or film and TV. And so I was like, I just want to put my flag in the ground and be the guy that can kind of present the best quality hip hop, uh, without samples, uh, for, for media. And, um, anyhow, that's kind of what we do. You know, we just put out fires at, of any size, any shape, like any language, any style we can, kind of accomplish it as a team, as the math club. And um, uh, so with, we've been doing a lot of work with my friends at Universal and they called me and they said, hey, we have this new Maya Rudolph show and you know, it's it's really good, but they wanted to make a last minute change. Cause I think originally they had Yacht Rock as their soundscape oh. for the yeah. show. And I don't know who tested it. It just seemed like a big fire. Like there wasn't much time left and they needed someone to come in. They had the idea of doing like late nineties hip hop, which is, you know, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, and so they asked if I could do, you know, it just felt very light. Like, can you do a few bumpers? Can you do a few things here and there? I was like, no problem. And they, they sent us the pilot. I think we had like maybe a week to, to kind of get in there and dig in. And, and to your point, it was, all very captivating, very fast. Like the show is so funny and so quick and, you know, high quality. It's everything you wanted in a show. And I was a Maya Rudolph fan since yeah. long before. So just all of that kind of coming together in this really short window was fun. Um, and then it just kind of evolved. Like, I don't even think they considered us to be a composer more than a music producer. And then and then we, we kind of scored and did the things we needed to do for the pilot. Then they asked if we would do the theme song and, and uh, of course, like who's going to say no to that. And then it just felt like this dream job. And uh, we just kind of, they kept giving us more and more tasks as they were in the post. And and then by the time we got to like episode four or five, we were just in this, in this groove um, and, and the, 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 the executive producers and the studio, everyone seemed really happy with what we were doing. And it just kind of became this, amazing uh show where all the right things were happening the right way that's yeah oh, i love that and how cool how cool is maya we, we were able to have her on and she's just she's just uh so cool to work with right she seems amazing i haven't met her like oh, I, we, we never, never got to even uh be on a zoom together but i've been zooming and, and dealing with um alan yang yes uh, who's and and matthew hubbard uh who are like just the nicest Mm -hmm. people on the on the planet so it's just been you know you never I feel like in my history I've never you know we did a theme song you're usually expecting to get at least like 20 rounds of notes and revisions and you know not much clarity but you kind of got to play this guessing game and we delivered four demos for the theme and they were like we'll take that one and I'm like what are the notes they're like oh no no notes we just want that one I'm like wow this is too easy and 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 that's sort of the score too like we just kind of like they gave us the framework of what they wanted um you know stylistically and sonically and we just kind of jumped in and did it and they would take it and do what they do with it yeah oh, i love that well and, and of course uh, do do they just come to the math club and they go okay and then you kind of you know you've got your collective there and you kind of bounce it around or do you just or, or did it get to you and you're like i got this this is great <laughs> A little bit of both. Like I, okay. I when the, the gig first came, I was like, okay, this is my bag for sure. But then over time, it just becomes, there's so much to do. And we have so much talent here. Like uh, before it's too late, I want to shout out the people. Like yeah. uh, there's there's Jason Rabinowitz here. There's uh, Danny Mendez. There's Scott Schwartz. There's Carmelo Cianflone and Patrick Ditzel. These guys are like, they're part of the, the Math Club team that really like would take either my ideas it's just like kind of a cycle like almost like a factory where we're all pitching in ideas and starting things and we'll toss it over to the others and we'll be finishing it and putting it to picture but so to answer your question i would get in as often as i could 
Um, but a lot of the times uh, it was just kind of, we're all touching it in different ways as it's before it's being presented. Oh, that's so cool. Well, it's, it's good to have a good team, but you know, like on, on your own, you've done some amazing things and people look up to you and they think, well, you know, like I, the, you have the perfect job. That's what I want to do, but you make it look a whole lot easier than it is. So what kind of advice do you give to the people that want to do what you do? You know, I, the advice I would give to other people that want to do this is just commitment, you know, like never give up. I, I feel like there's a home for every piece of music written and it's just about finding, it's connecting the right person with the right music at the right time. And you can't always predict when that time is, you can't always predict what style is going to be needed. But if you're just honing your craft and continuing to write uh, at one point, the, the stars will align and, and it'll all become possible. It just takes that one to, to take you over the top, you know, and, and you can't predict when that's going to be. And so if you love it, you just got to keep doing it until, until that time shows itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. I love that. Well, and of course, if you've watched uh, my other interviews, you know, it's coming the Hail Mary <laughs> moment. So, you know, my co-host Drew Pearson caught that Hail Mary and uh, went in the hall of fame. So of course we need to ask you, your Hail Mary moment, which is that moment in your life or career where you just had to go for it. It worked out for you. What do you suppose that was for you? Oh, man. I mean, I think start, you know, going from being in the recording side of hip hop, uh, you know, th that that was a game that I was just kind of like striving to achieve my whole life. But then when when I decided to start the math club, you know, it was like 2010. It was like a the mar I saw it as like the marathon of the rest of my life. And it was like, I'm just going to jump in and get in and, and do this. And, it, you know, it was a Hail Mary. I didn't know what I did, if there was a home for what I was going to be doing, but I knew that I didn't want to go push pencils. And I knew I didn't want to, I was getting too old to be on stage. And so I was like, I just want to make music, make hip hop music for film and television. And it was a huge risk at a time that, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I shouldn't have been taking risks, but I did and, and it, it paid off. And did, did, that, did that answer the question? Was that okay? Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, and then of course the, you know, part of that is just kind of keeping that right mindset about it too. Right. You know, and, and that's another thing we talk about on the show is that success mindset, whether you're feeling it or not, because you know, us creative types are, are harder on ourselves. So, so is there something you keep in mind that keeps you on that right path? Yes, I, I think just staying positive, you know, mm -hmm. I think like uh, knowing that like the journey comes with a lot of ups and downs and, and as, as long as you stay positive over, over time, I think it's all going to just work out okay, you know, so uh, I think the mindset is just like kind of I keep my head down and I, I stay true to what I'm creating and, and what we're delivering to our clients and uh, I think that's the positive motivation you know yeah absolutely and so and so uh after hearing all this I, I can't wait to hear what you got next for us so what do you have coming up oh so uh we we are working we do all the on cameras for uh all american and all american homecoming and right now we're uh doing a few on cameras for uh righteous gemstone season four mm -hmm. um and we're we're in in sort of a bigger deal with this uh this toy company up in Canada called Spin Master, and we're doing a lot of music for for their you know brands, and that's it. You know, just uh, kind of still getting out of the strike, but uh, but things are feeling good, and like we're kind of on back back on track to almost 2019 where we were when uh, you know we first kind of you know we, we were getting our footing and and things were great, and then pandemic and strike, but we're we're just about back. Good, good. Well, you got any good uh, recent hip hop uh, recommendations? Or you, you know, for from the from the great years. <laughs> I'm stuck in I'm stuck in the '90s. So I yeah. mean, you know, Big Daddy Kane, uh, you know, the Black yes. Sheep, De La Soul. You know, like that's that's my heart, and and those are actually the people that I I listen to when whenever times get tough. Like I I, I love to go back and and listen to the guys that inspired me, and I I just always will pull the inspiration from from that moment in my life and apply it to today because you know 90s hip-hop like they were they were paving a whole new genre of music back then and and look at it now and so i i kind of use that as inspiration to get through the the, the tough moments
Yeah, I love that. And then, of course, uh, with this show, it's it's it's, a, it's definitely a special show. What what is it about about it that you that you love that you think you'll always be like ah, you know what? That was that's a great show. Well, the, to me, the pacing, it's such a breath of fresh air, you know, like, especially during the pandemic, when, when times were getting tough, like everyone was stuck inside and, you know, you see a lot of the, the negative stuff in the media. And I felt like loot came out of time. It was just a breath of fresh air and um, the pacing's great. I mean, so some of the best comedians in, in the world, you know, all together. Um, I think the subject matter is amazing. I just like, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong with the show. It's one of those flawless, you know, shows that was just an amazing opportunity for us to be a part of. Yeah, and also great music in addition to what you guys did, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, I, uh, props to Charlie and Carrie at uh, Universal, who are, you know, they're 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 knocking on Mariah Carey's door to get uh, that fantasy remix played in every episode. You know, like that. That's uh, not easy, and and it's really hard to live up to that quality of music to, you know, just make music around. It's really hard, but uh, such great inspiration came along with that process. So. Yeah, I love it. Well, we had so much fun uh, watching the show and I know you had fun working on it and we're, we're very, very excited for your uh, award season. And uh, we're going to tell everyone to check it out if they haven't already. And I uh, look forward to talking to you more again soon. Awesome. Thank you so much, Paul. It was nice to meet you. And uh, thanks. Thanks a lot.